During the course of your work, you'll come across some vehicles with CPC sensors and the rubber containers already fitted to the tyre. Before you start removing the tyre from the wheel, however, you need to remember to do this away from the dot code here on the side wall of the tyre. This is because the CPC sensor is normally aligned with the dot code and the valve in the inner tyre, and we don't want to damage it when we take the tyre off. Once the tyre has been removed, it's easy enough to remove the sensor from the rubber housing on the old tyre. You should be able to pop the sensor out from the housing like this quite easily, and there's no need to remove the rubber housing from the tyre. Once you've removed the sensor, we can refit it onto the new tyre going onto the vehicle. And if the replacement tyre already has a rubber housing in place, just insert the sensor into the housing and refit the new tyre onto the wheel as normal. If there's no rubber housing, one will need to be added to the new tyre so the CPC sensor can be reattached. However, this should only be done on site or at the depot. Do not, repeat, do not attempt to add the rubber housing on the roadside for obvious health and safety reasons. So if you're working on the roadside and find the new tyre doesn't have a rubber holder, simply fit the new tyre on without the sensor and retain it until the vehicle returns back to the customer's site. Just make sure you inform the customer as soon as possible if this is the case, as clearly it will need to be rectified as soon as possible and you'll need to refit the sensor. To install the sensor housing, you first need to make sure you're in a cool, dry place so nothing can affect the condition of the tyre or our peripherals. Then you'll need to fit the sensor here in the centre of the inner tread, making sure it's aligned with the dot code you can see on the side wall of the tyre. As we've already said, this is to make sure that on any tyre we know exactly where the CPC sensor is placed. Now you know where to put the sensor, you'll obviously need to clean the area where it's going to be attached. To do this, first spray the surface with this Rema Tip Top Buffing Solution. Then scrape the area using an inner liner scraper to provide a relatively flat surface, removing any previous silicon releasing agent or dirt. Repeat these steps two or more times just to make sure that the area is completely clean and you've not missed anything. Once you've done that, spray the area again with buffing solution and wipe off with a clean cloth or blue roll three times so you know the area is fully clean and ready. Once the tyre is properly prepared, we need to do the same for the rubber housing which holds the sensor. To do that, place the housing into the applicator already containing the CPC sensor and spray the base of the housing with buffing solution, wiping it off three times to ensure that the surface is properly clean. Next, apply a three millimetre wide bead of glue across the diameter of the housing base surface from edge to edge. And although the glue will last for a year, once this glue has been opened and it's specially available from Conti, it will only last for a couple of weeks, so do make sure you don't use it after that date. Using the spatula provided, spread the glue evenly over the housing base, leaving no dry areas. Now place the applicator on the prepared area of the tyre so that the arrows are in line with the tyre tread and direction of travel and not pointing across to the beads. Keep hold of this and add pressure for at least two minutes so this housing is firmly attached. Next, remove the applicator, leaving the sensor and housing in place ensuring that the rubber cut part of the applicator is not stuck to the sensor. And finally, use your spatula to ensure that the edges of the housing surface are in contact with the tyre and that all excess glue and air is squeezed out. And use a cloth to remove any excess glue. And that's it. You can now fit the tyre in the normal way, but remember, just make sure that when you do, the dot code is in line with the valve, just like we said. And if you have fitted a brand new sensor, you can easily activate it using the CPC handheld tool. Guys, it's as simple as that.